For me, extreme skiing or steep skiing isn't rated. Um, it's it's it and, uh, personal thing, you know, where your meter is. You know, as long as you can uh, get the fear factor up and control it, and that seems to be what it's all about. Extreme skiing basically means skiing a slope of 50 degrees or over. And if you think that isn't steep, the notorious white lady run at Aviemore is only 21 degrees. 55 degrees is really steep. I mean, you can hardly hold an edge on 55 degrees. And I don't think 65 is possible. But these young scallywags don't know the half of it. Chamonix in the Haute Savoie region of France is what's known as hardcore, encompassing the area around Mont Blanc and widely regarded as having some of the best alpine climbing in the world. Its reputation has always been that of a mountaineering centre, until someone thought it might be fun to ski back down the way they just came up. The big corridor here is the couloir couturier. The top of the mountain is Vert. Some people ski it down, others surf it. We turn a bit and we have two little corridors. We really icy. Yeah, I see. That. Okay, the two corridors were skied. I two. can't believe that. I it's can't fantastic. Believe that. In case there's any confusion, there's a fundamental difference between French and American extreme skiing. The big difference with the Alpine ski extreme is you have to climb usually the mountain and after you come down. And not just use a cable car and coming down. So you need to have an Alpine experience, definitely. Ski Extreme became notorious in the 60s with the exploits of Sylvie Sodan, Patrick Vermonsong and Anselm Baud. Sadly, only one is still available for interview. We wanted to go by ourselves. Uh, that's mean without helicopter. Uh, because it was for ethic and uh, also to know exactly the places and if it's icy, rocky. So uh, we wanted to climb first. With typical disregard for ethics, the snowshow suggested to two local guides, jean C and Remy, that they should skip the climbing bit, take a helicopter to the top and show us how the French do it. After a dozen escargots, they agreed. We're over 3,000 metres here, standing just opposite Mont Blanc, where two men are about to ski down one of the most dangerous couloirs in the world. Normally they'll ice climb up one of these couloirs. Today we've been dropped off by helicopter because there's a danger of an avalanche, which is why we're completely kitted out, crampons, ice axe, all ropes together, the whole lot. This is the 700 metre couloir on E. At its steepest, it's 52 degrees, and in places it's only two metres wide. On any day, this is a serious prospect, but without having climbed up it first, jean C and Remy are concerned it might avalanche. This couloir is not really too steep at the starting, and I think we need to use the rope yeah. to try to start an avalanche, because yeah. the last days there were a lot of wind and a lot of snow, so I think we must take care, because it's dangerous at the start. So are you going to rope up yeah. and then go down, yeah. avalanche it yourself, yeah. and then and climb we jump, back up? We test, right. and um, after, if, if it's okay, we can go down. Yeah, we will see it after. <laughs> Compared with the so-called American extreme descents, this type of skiing is, as one might say, awesome. Uh, those guys are pushing it. I mean, they're the fact that they even get down that in any form at all is amazing to me. The risk is extremely high. Uh, if they fall, they die. So there's another difference between the American and European extreme skiing. Falling off a 60-foot chute in America is all part of the fun. Injuries can occur, but these situations aren't usually life-threatening. In some cases, a spectacular fall and recovery is worth more kudos than a clean descent. However, falling down a 2,000-foot couloir with no chance of stopping is like jumping out of a plane without a parachute. Well, how many people die doing this? From time, ah, oh, Ali. It's like, usually they don't die. Mm. Trouble is, we had uh, last week a huge snowfall and uh, lots of winds. So the real danger will come from uh, an avalanche danger if we have some avalanche here. Standing on the lee side of the knife-edged ridge, Jean Say prepares to throw himself backwards down the slope if Remy is caught in an avalanche. In this way, the two skiers would hang on opposite ends of the rope, straddling the ridge instead of being swept down the couloir.
why go down on skis? Because you go down so slowly, it's almost like climbing down. It's for fun. Just because it's exciting, you know, it's just for fun. How can you stop people just coming to Chamonix and launching themselves off a corridor with no experience? Here you can't, because here we are in a democracy and everybody has a right to do what he would like to do. Scott Schmidt exercised his democratic right to die and recalls his brush with Chamonix. Off the Grand Monte in Chamonix, there's uh, the platform jump off, and I felt pretty confident that I could do it. But once I was in there and flying through the air and everything was happening so fast, I had to start having like second thoughts, and I ended up crashing and falling towards a crevasse. And if I would have thought about it more, I probably would have thought, man, oh, geez, man, maybe I could fall into that if I failed, you know, and, um, and I did fail. That's probably one of the only regrets I, I have. Um, I definitely learned something that day. Have you ever had an accident? Cross a finger. We do stupid things, but we are lucky. 30 minutes later, Remy and Jean Sayre passed the avalanche danger, but are faced with a new fear. At 52 degrees, this is the steepest part of the couloir, and every turn is potentially their last. So where exactly will they draw the line? We suppose 65 is the maximum, because after, your boots are more larger than your skis and your boots will touch the ice before the edges of the ski. So definitely we will stop by 63 or 65 maximum. One hour later, the Garçons Extreme arrived back at base all in one piece. But, but you're beautiful, really beautiful. Yes. Really beautiful, but uh, snow on the, on the top of the beginning of Couloir was quite heavy and uh, a little bit dangerous for avalanches, but uh, in fact, it was okay. Yes, that's our boys. Whereas you or I would be rushing to change our underpants, these men have time to discuss the view. Not only do they have the courage of lions, but their modesty about their skiing ability is touching. Yet another way in which they differ from the Americans. You know, there are a lot of skiers who ski in uh, steep, uh, steep descent like this, or uh, more easy, uh, who are not really very good skiers. It's not the most important. It's better to be a good climber before, uh, very good experience of mountaineering, yes. and after a skier. If you want to come to Chamonix to ski, don't just turn up with a pair of battered old compact skis and look for the nursery slopes. It's a demanding area with most of the skiing off-piste on glaciers and accessible only with a mountain guide, and that's not including the corridors. 